Hi, my name is Jack Donovan. I'm a board member with the Minnesota Percussion Association. I teach at Winona State University and I also work with Grove Area Percussion of ISD 279. Uh, this is the third video in a series of three that's talking about the three main four mallet grips that we use on marimba and vibraphone. The first video we saw was about the Stevens grip, the second video was about the Burton grip, and finally this third one's going to be about the traditional cross grip. Um, this uh, The traditional cross grip is another um, as it sounds, cross grip, similar to that Burton grip, but there are some key differences that we're going to break into here. Um, this grip is not as common in the the marching arts world. This is far more. Uh, this grip is seen more often in the solo marimba world or the concert percussion realm, um, and even in the United States, I think this grip is far less common than the other two. You see this grip used widely throughout Europe and throughout um, Eastern Asia in Japan and things like that. Um, and that's kind of why I want to talk about it, because I think this grip is, is tremendous. And I, I made the switch to this grip when I was about a sophomore or junior in college during my undergrad. Um, and it's really, it's really changed how I approach the marimba as a solo instrument. So, um, to, to start today and to participate today, we just need to, either one pair of mallets or two pair of mallet, two pairs of mallets. Um, I'm only going to break down one hand, um, and then we can mir mirror it to the other hand. You don't need a keyboard for anything we're going to do today. There will be more videos in the future breaking down technique for all of these um, for all of these four mallet grips, uh, technique and musical exercises and things like that. All right, so let's get into it. The traditional cross grip. So we saw with Burton grip that we just started with our basic two mallet grip, right? If we're going to play two mallets, that's how we hold them, right? From there, we put this mallet in there. It gets different here for the cross grip. So. Our two mallet grip, all we're going to do is we're going to open up our pointer and our thumb and we're going to kick that index finger to the inside of that mallet. That mallet now becomes our outside mallet. In Burton grip, that this two mallet, the, from our two mallet grip, that becomes our inside mallet. For cross grip, we take our index finger, put it on the other side, and it now becomes our outside mallet. Um, it functions very much like our two mallet stroke, right? The only difference is our fulcrum is now displaced right and we'll see where it comes in here in a second um, again I don't have much sticking out the back similar to the Stevens grip maybe about a half an inch to an inch um, from there to let's let's put the inside mallet in there this is where it gets a little hairy right there's there's some there's some um, there's some trust that I think has to has to be given to this grip in order to make it really work so we're gonna take this mallet and we're gonna put it on top of our outside mallet right if we cross them at the back and it's going to sit inside with inside our pinky and ring finger with that other one. But remember, it's on top of it, right? I'm not going under it. I'm going on top of it. You'll see the act. Um, and then, okay, so from there, our thumb then sits on top of this mallet. And that's what gives us our spread, right? Um, you'll see with this grip the, where the mallets cross, the, the, the intersection of the mallets is a lot farther down in the hand. Right when we had, let me put Burton grip in this hand, and you could see the real difference of where the mallets cross. Right, this one's kind of up towards my middle finger and my ring finger. This one's back in my pinky and in ring finger. Right, so it's like a two finger difference there. Right. Um, now it functions like just like uh, the Burton grip, where the back of our hand isn't as straight up as it is with Burton grip. The back of our hand was up. Right. This one, it's a little more relaxed. It's not straight up, but it's also, we're not thumbs up because we get that perpendicular approach, right? So it's like a relaxed kind of German approach to, um, to the keyboard. We're still using the wrist to generate the stroke, right? And we're holding on right here and our thumbs providing that downward pressure. On the outside mallet, we, um, we set the mallet on our pointer finger kind of between our second and third knuckle, right? And, um, those of us Stevens players, we're used to getting that blister on the outside of our middle finger. We're going to get this one on the outside of our pointer finger. So we can't avoid blisters. I'm sorry. There's nothing we could do about that. So this is the traditional cross grip. It's my, my grip of choice, and I, it's allowed me to have a much more relaxed approach to the instrument. Um, that's it for how to hold the mallets in this video series. Um, like I said, we're, we're going to put out some more videos about actual technique and musicality kind of um, issues and concerns and ideas in future videos. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching these videos and I hope you learned something.